thing for the kitchen. It's just um, two pieces of aluminum flashing screwed to a piece of plywood. And where it's going to end up being is right here. You can sort of put it there, not really. So it's going to end up being on that wall. And it's going to have really strong magnets so that I can put my spices, like the jars of spices, magneted to this. So I just have to put some glue here in the middle, screw in the edges, and then this should be good. So for the past few days, I haven't really been able to get much work done in the tiny house. And I have all of today to just work on the house. And I'm hoping that I can polyurethane all the walls, possibly start painting the ceiling, mount the countertop, pretty much do a lot of things that need to get done because time is not on my side and I don't have many more days before I really need to have this finished so um, I'm gonna get down to some work board up there to cover the top edge that was exposed before and you could see the insulation and the plan is to use one of those like soldering things to burn a quote at the top and so I think this will this one is gonna say a house is made of wood but only love can make a home and then this one over here which I have to do some help with because as you can see right there there's a little gap but anyway this one's gonna say life is a balance of holding on and letting go here's what I'm about to do next I'm about to paint the ceiling white that's the only last thing that I have to do and Hopefully I won't need a second coat, but I guess we'll see how it covers. Alright, so I just finished the ceiling. It's all painted. I have some little edge work to do. But for the most part, that's done. I'm just going to do one coat because I kind of like the knots showing through and I think it looks pretty good right now. What I'm doing is mounting the countertop. So I have this two by four in the back and I have this cross thing here. And that's because the countertop actually isn't wide enough to cover the freezer, which is gonna go in this space. So it's gonna come out about uh, the like three and a half inches. So I needed something to support it and I originally was going to put it back here like I did over there, but then that's just going to push, push the freezer out even farther. So I had this cross thing here. I'm probably going to end up staining it because it sticks out, obviously, more than the countertop. Um, and I have this piece of birch here and one outside to hold up the front side of it. I just kind of mounted the countertop. I had to slide a little board there. You can't really see it. There it is. Well, the light. Anyway, there's a little board underneath here just so that the birch would touch here. And it's all completely level. It feels like it's about the right height. Um, I know our countertop in my house is pretty much this height and it 
feels pretty good. So the freezer is going to fit right in between there. And then I'm, I think I'm going to keep this. And then the plan right now is to have open countertop underneath there. But I guess we'll find out. Alright guys, so a quick decision was made and we are not going to use these cabinets after all. So instead it's just going to be some open shelving. But I'm going to wait on doing the rest of it until I finish the plumbing for the sink. Right now I'm going to work on paneling up this wall and then I'm going to attach my little magnet spice thing. So it's getting a little bit late and you probably can't see that well but I'm working on the bathroom sink. I have a old post from actually part of our old house that I repurposed to make this little post. Some scrap wood here. It's like a butcher block countertop sort of. Then I'm going to screw the last screw down here so that it attaches to the floor. Then I'm going to drill the hole for the sink. Alright, I think this is it for the day. It's getting kind of dark and I need light. My hand is hurting. I did mention to you guys that I had some issues with it and I went back two weeks later and he said, the doctor said I could not wear a brace but it's feeling very sore. Um, Apparently it's some tendon issue, so I'm going to quit for the day and I will see you guys tomorrow.